Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am very excited because today I'm going to be doing a review of the new face line smoothing device. So if you're curious whether this kit is worth your time and money, stick around. Okay, let's get started by opening the box. I have fully charged this in preparation for this video, so we don't have to worry about the batteries running out. And in the box, you will also see that it comes with a gel. New Face Line Smoothing Fix Serum with Triple Peptide Complex. You will also find the Quick Start Manual, the User Manual, the Lid, and the Charging Cord. Start with clean, dry skin, and you will want to use an oil-free cleanser to remove any makeup or impurities. It does suggest that you lightly mist your face with a hydrating facial spray, so I'm going to use the Diabla First Spray Serum. Before I get any further, I am going to just put my hair up a bit to keep it out of the way and I don't want any of the gel serum getting into my hair either. The next step it says to apply a mask like layer of the fix line smoothing serum to the area you want to treat such as around the eyes lips or forehead. I'm not going to apply it right onto the face I'm actually going to put some on my finger Turn on the device. Gently feather the device over the treatment area in a fast, erasing like motion. Spend about three minutes on each area. So sorry for the interruption. I wanted to stop in and tell you how happy I am that you found my channel. Here is where you will find beauty product reviews, shopping hauls and unboxing, and some get ready with me videos. So I will ask that if you are finding value in my videos, please show your support by hitting that like button and most importantly, subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for visiting me. Back to the video. And it's supposed to automatically stop after the three minutes are up. Microcurrent devices offer several benefits for skin care and overall facial health. Here are some of the key advantages. Number one, stimulates facial muscles. Microcurrent therapy uses low level electrical currents to stimulate facial muscles, which can help lift and tone the skin, giving it a more youthful appearance. Number two, improves blood circulation. Electrical stimulation can enhance blood flow to the skin, promoting healthier skin cells and a more radiant complexion. Number three, promotes collagen and elastin production. Some studies suggest that microcurrent therapy may stimulate the production of collagen and elastin, which are essential for maintaining skin elasticity and firmness. Number four, reduces fine lines and wrinkles. Regular use of a microcurrent device can help reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles by tightening and smoothing the skin. Number five, speeds up wound healing. Microcurrent stimulation has been shown to promote wound healing by increasing blood circulation and reducing inflammation. Number six, non-invasive and painless. Unlike surgical facelifts or other invasive procedures, microcurrent facials are non-invasive and painless, making them a convenient option for many people. Number seven, hydrates and rejuvenates the skin. Microcurrent therapy can help improve skin hydration and overall rejuvenation, leading to a clearer, healthier, and more youthful looking skin. And then it says when you're done to gently pad in the remaining serum. So don't wipe it off, actually pat it in. I definitely feel like on, the, on my right side, I definitely feel that it's tightening. I'm not sure if you can see, but it does definitely feel like it's tightening. Now the big question is, can I be strict enough with myself to do this every day? I don't know. I could I could incorporate it into my night skincare routine because, and you guys might laugh at me for this, but I actually do my night skincare routine in bed. I have chronic fatigue, which goes along with fibromyalgia. 
And by the end of the day, I'm done. I, I do not feel like standing at a sink or even coming and sitting in here and doing my skincare routine. So I actually have a table beside my bed. I know, I'm high maintenance. And I, I wash my face in the sink and then I crawl into bed and I have one of those ghost beds so that it's got a remote so I can actually sit up in the bed, like it reclines, like a hospital bed. So I will recline and sit in bed and I start with my toner and then I add a spray, a moisturizing spray. Then I add my vitamin C serum, my retinol cream and finish up with my moisturizer, my face night facial <laughs> night moisturizer and then of course I add see that kind of got a little irritated because I just left I didn't I wasn't moving it so definitely got to make sure you keep it moving and I think I need a little bit more it seemed like it was getting a little dry there um, anyways so then I finish up with a lip mask and eye cream and yeah, it's just the comfort of being in bed and I can turn the bed massage on and it's like being in a spa. See, I was actually starting to get irritated there and I think that's because I left, like I stopped erasing. So I think that's why. Now I'm just gonna do my lips. Now I'm gonna try just half. So let's do the top half first, just a tiny bit. And I had to look this up because it says to flick the lip. And I was like, what does it mean, flick the lip? And I'm gonna work on this side because see how my, my lips drop? So that's what they mean by flick. So I'm just gonna do the one side and see if it actually plumps this side of the lips. I need more of this. Oh, way too much. <laughs> way too much. Okay. What I was saying is I definitely feel more of the electrical current on my lips than I did on my eyes. If this works, I will definitely do my lips every day, at least this side. you know, so that they're more even. I would really, if I could afford it, I would totally go and get Botox on this side. Because I have seen that that actually helps with, you know, your lips pulling down, curling under. Using the new face fix device is generally considered safe, but like any skincare device, it can have some side effects. Here are a few potential side effects you might experience. Skin irritation. Some users report mild skin irritation, redness, or tingling after using the device. Facial pain. A few users have experienced facial pain or discomfort after use. Dryness. The device can sometimes cause skin dryness, so it is important to follow up with a good moisturizer. Twitching or tingling. You might feel some twitching or tingling sensation in the treated areas. Headaches or dizziness. In very rare cases, users have reported headaches and or dizziness after using the device. It is important to follow the instructions provided with the device and to stop using it if you are experiencing any severe reactions. If you have any underlying health conditions such as a pacemaker, epilepsy, or are pregnant, it is best to consult with a healthcare professional before using the device. There are specific precautions you should take while using microcurrent devices on sensitive skin. Number one, do a patch test. Before using the device on your face, do a patch test on a small area of your skin to ensure you don't have an adverse reaction. Always apply a conductive gel before using the device. This helps to prevent irritation and enhances the effectiveness of the treatment. Do not exceed the recommended usage time. Spend about three minutes on each area. 
If you have any active skin conditions like eczema, rosacea, or acne flare-ups, avoid using the device until your skin has calmed down. If you have any concerns or pre-existing skin conditions, it's always best to consult with a dermatologist before starting microcurrent treatments. Ensure your skin is well hydrated and moisturized before and after using the device to minimize any potential dryness or irritation. By following these precautions, you can help ensure a safe and effective experience with microcurrent devices, even if you have sensitive skin. Tell me what your guys' thoughts are. If you see a difference, let me know down in the comments, please. Also, if any of you have tried this or even the full face version, I would love to hear your thoughts on the product. I do think I'm gonna continue to use it consistently every day, but as my nighttime routine, I'm not gonna do it in the morning because I know I will not be consistent with that. Because it does take three minutes per area, that's a long time to be spending. <laughs> so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you next time.